kind of smaller, I guess. They got the small vehicles, but nothing too far different than the U.S. I like it a lot. It's, uh, it's a great country. Beautiful country. So I serve as the company unit movement officer. Um, I'm in charge of making sure all of our equipment gets put on the trains, which have been back at Fort Carson. Then they moved to Beaumont, Texas. And from Beaumont, Texas, they got loaded onto these vessels here. Then from Beaumont, Texas, here to Bremenhaven, and they're going to be unloaded here at the port and pushed to the, uh, the railhead here and then all the way to So different battalions are uh, doing convoys. 1-8 is going to be convoying uh, from here to their final destination. My battalion is going to be putting it on trains and then picking it up in Poland. Uh, so the convoys will be pretty well organized. They're leaving straight from here. I know 1-8 brought a lot of people so they can van all their vehicles and push them farther. Uh, we're going to pick up our vehicles in Poland. I'm the only one uh, from my company here to make sure everything gets put on the train and then our uh, our drivers will meet the vehicles in Poland and pick it up and drive it to our final compound. Um, so I mostly am a truck mechanic, which entitles that I work on uh, 88s and 113s. But like I said, I, I'm cross-trained on uh, wheel vehicles as well. And pretty much my, uh, my role in all this is just to make sure that our vehicles aren't ate up, like they run the way they're supposed to, they're not going to break down on a field problem, or, you know, we're, we're trying to show that we've got the, some of the best equipment in the world, so we don't want to take something off the boat and then it just blows up, you know, so everything just shuts down, it stops working, so I just, I'm there to make sure that that doesn't happen. So far, what I've seen is that our equipment is, I mean, it took a lot of work, and there's some rough patches, but our equipment is coming out here looking really good. Everything's starting the way it's supposed to, everything's running the way it's supposed to. But the cold weather's not too good for the equipment right now because it's a lot different climate over here. But uh, like our vehicles are acclimating to it and they're they're running the way they're supposed to. Oh yeah, so uh, I haven't like had too much contact with the contractors, but uh, they're they're getting our vehicles off efficiently. Uh, they're parking them up for us, and then we're just running our just a few checks on them, making sure all the uh, the batteries are hooked up so the vehicles are ready to get started. And uh. <laughs> Alright, so I plan on doing it for a long time, at least 20 years. So uh, I'm very excited about this deployment. Uh, I've heard Europe's beautiful, which so far it, it seems like it. I mean, the base is a little creepy, but uh, yeah, it's nice. Like, I, I'm super excited to be out here. And uh, yeah, I just hope I get more deployments like this one because everybody's unfriendly. Like, I don't speak German, so it's been hard to communicate with some of the people that I run into or that I like try to converse with. Me. But uh, yeah, it's it's been cool. I like it.